What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Make sure to like and sub, and let's get into this. Well, even though we have no reason whatsoever to believe that uh, Paramount has learned its lesson regarding Halo, considering just not only did they not do what we wanted, but they broke every rule and then doubled down on all the, like, the, the, the easy one would be like, well, I hope they don't show Master Chief's face. And they're like, oh, you don't want us to show his face? How about we make him not only take his helmet off but we're gonna have make them have sex with a human female member of the covenant and then you go wait there shouldn't be any human covenant member and then the list went on of things they shouldn't have done and did anyway but hey they've released a couple of trailers that don't look entirely horrible even though you're still seeing him without his helmet and pablo's going around saying the equivalent if you don't like my politics don't buy my book if you don't like the helmet kind of coming off you don't like the show to which we all collectively scream yes that is what we're telling you. We don't like the show because you keep taking the helmet off and various other faux pas. But let's see. Let's see what Collider of all things, since this is one of the first reviews to pop up. Let's see what they think of Halo Season 2. Halo Season 2 review. Master Chief's latest adventure is a big improvement. Yeah, but that's not saying much. That is not saying. Because when you're at the bottom, the only way you can go is up most of the time. It's not often that we get to see a TV series kick off its seasons in media res. Uh, don't make me look up. That's fine. Partly because it's something pretty difficult to pull off on television film scheduling. But of course, times have changed and television has managed to surprise us again and again. And season two of Halo seems to want to make its contribution to raising the bar. If the first 15 minutes of the season premiere are any indication of what's to come, we're in for a pretty good ride. Season two picks up some months after the events of season one and after taking over the, yeah. Yeah. So if you don't remember, it ended with Cortana taking over Master Chief's body and brain basically completely. And um, yeah. And after taking over the body of Master Chief, AI assistant Cortana has disappeared. The same is true for Dr. Halsey, meaning she vacated the spot that is promptly taken over by James Ackerson. A man with resolve but reluctant to reveal his endgame when it comes to fighting the Covenant. Meanwhile, the Spartans start to save, start trying to save different communities while their overpowered enemies put in a motion, plan of motion, excuse me, that's hard for the Master Chief to figure out. The opening sequence of Halo Season 2 is everything you'd want from sci-fi and action series. I, what does that even mean? It covers the Spartan team's attempt to approach and rescue a group, and it has several beats that make it one of the must-see moments of TV from this point in the year. We get the tactical team plan that helps us understand how the scene will play out, the fear and apprehension of the no unknown. Well, if it's with Spartans, they're not supposed to be feeling fear, but uh, maybe they have Marines with them. A little foggy horror for good measure, and full-blown action that ends with a welcome twist. The sequence is the only rivaled by episode four titled Reach, which is too spoily, spoilery to get into. But you, yeah, look, if you know what happens on Reach, obviously this is what happens when you're dealing with such good writing is that even when you dilute it so poorly and adapt it so poorly, it's so good in its original form that even badly adapted, people can still find enjoyment in it. Halo 2 or Halo Spartan helmet issue is finally addressed in season two. Oh, I bet it is. Let's see what they say. At the same time, Halo finally learns how to deal with the Spartan helmet issue that led to complaints in Season 1. This time around, the helmet never comes off when it doesn't need to. Well, it never needs to, so you've contradicted yourself right there. But the best part is that showrunner David Weiner heh, and his team have figured out a way to use the helmet as an asset. More than once throughout the first four episodes provided for review, the Spartan helmet visor is used as a narrative tool to inform some moments and help us read a little emotion into a suit that otherwise offers little room for an actor to convey his character feelings. So in other words, what Iron Man and the MCU has been doing for over a fucking decade. I, I, this is the thing. It's like, why do they never pay attention to the things that have already been accomplished? I, I don't. You're not stealing it if it's an already established thing. And it's already an established thing where if someone's wearing a helmet with a with a, a visor or something like that, you just show an inside point of view of them looking at the visor. Took them to the second season and people complaining to figure that one out. Beyond that, the entire suit of the Spartans feels more functional and action prone. And it's 
thrilling to see them in action. The series also finds a way to make John 117 not wearing the helmet and suit a part of the story, which it shouldn't, which in turn serves as a way for us to see that his fighting abilities transcend the power of the Spartan armor. Yeah, we know. And it's a great way to address fan concerns and also improve the concepts. Yeah, I am win-win all around. I am sure the fans will completely be happy that he's now more scenes outside of the armor. The new season of Halo also seems committed to making its story as grounded as possible. Okay, because I definitely want my sci-fi adventures and the future of uh, super soldiers fighting aliens where all the shit is purple to be grounded. God, grounded is the new term that is abused in everything. Of course, grounded it just grounded used to mean something different, and now I think when they say grounded, they just mean shit will make sense. It'll the world will feel lived in. It's like okay, but that's not grounded. Uh, that's just shit making sense in the world feeling lived in. In the season one premiere, we had a pretty cruel opening scene that established how it is to live in a universe threatened by the Covenant. But this time around, the show makes it clear that it's gearing up to prov uh, provoke the feeling that nowhere and no one is safe. Good, because they should have felt that anyway if it wasn't for the little rebellion, not exactly civil war, but that was going on between, you know, like separatist rebels and the actual UNSC. Halo 2 season welcomes Joseph Morgan with open arms. All right, so he's taken over. I this is a mainstream collider, so take that for what you will. They're already it should be a red flag when they're trying to defend. Oh, it's way better now when they take the helmet off and the, the suit off. So I, let me know what you think of this. Either way, I will be watching and reviewing, and I will let you know if there's anything worth your time. But most likely the same thing will be true for this, as was of the first season, where just wait until Paramount itself releases the cut reel of just the fight scenes, which they just did. Just go watch that. It's just the Spartans fighting. Uh, let me know what you think of this in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you've done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. And, well. Well. Bye.